But back in uh, March, uh, my son, oldest son, Tony, and his wife, Sarah, who have pastored for many years in uh, North northern BC and Fort St. John, uh, were able to go with us to Uganda. And he made a video while he was there. So I want to play that video for you and let you see uh, the ministry there from his perspective. Okay, so Sarah and I are here at a school. Joy. Um, Village of Joy. Black Buffalo. Yeah, that ministry. we've so we've been supporting this as a church for the last number of years. And so if you're part of Evangel and you give whenever there's opportunity, we always send some money to this this work here. And you can kind of see in the background as we're walking around that it's a full on school. It started out with just one guy. His name was Kavuma, and he connected with my parents and an organization that my grandfather started called Black Buffalo Global Missions. And so as a result of that connection, they started working with them. At that point, you can see back here that uh, that building there that I'm pointing to was the only building that he had. No power, no land. And so, and he had 20 kids that he had was, was sponsoring and supporting at that point. So we got, we got, we got connected to him. And um, again, like I said, Evangel became an official partner of this uh, I think like four years ago. We do a monthly amount that, that really helps them continue the work. To date, there has been 400,000 sunk into this place from donors all over North America. And again, it's just such a, such a personal connection with my mom and dad being such a key part of this. And so here we are, Sarah and I were just with them this morning, had a great time in their chapel service. Sarah was the preacher, she did an amazing job. Do you have anything to say? Oh man, it just was so crazy being here. Something that um, we watched from afar, um, watched the videos that Gordon and Linda Warner, our Tony's parents, have put out. But it's another thing to be here and to see it and to see the kids and yeah, it's it's crazy. We would love to bring more people here just to show them um, the difference that it makes to uh, get behind a vision of of growing kids up in the Lord that normally wouldn't have that opportunity. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So to date, there are there are 300 kids that are actually cared for in this building. The building just behind me there, you can see the three story, is where a lot of them sleep. And so, and plus another bunch of kids come in from the village. So it's huge. They're teaching them how to walk with God. They're teaching them. Um, they're giving them just a sound education all the way up to the end of high school. There's a medical person on staff here. They do all the meals here. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I think the annual, the monthly budget is about 6,000 USD just to keep this place running. Which is peanuts. And then, <laughs> and then uh, so my dad, who is obviously the guy that really works at bringing, bringing supporters in and stuff, has been constantly throwing projects at me and Sarah. Um, and I keep telling him, Dad, we have lots of stuff going on, but... The more I think about it, the more I think it would be a good idea for us to consider doing something extra here. Um, I'd like to suggest this. There, there's no power here. I mean, you can see all the buildings as we circle around. All these buildings, there's classrooms, there's kitchens, there's sleeping areas. Everything is run by solar power. And, um, and several of the buildings have no power. And so you have kids meeting in these buildings and they're, it's dark in their classrooms. I mean, there's some light coming through windows, but not much. And so, I, I don't know, maybe that's something some of you would want to get, get behind. I know Sarah and I would be happy uh, on our own to get behind this. To get power here, the pole is right outside the property. And it's going to cost, we figured, I think we figured a thousand bucks to get, get power here and to one building. But three grand would power all the buildings. And this big building behind me is actually fully ready to go. Um, it just needs to be plugged in. So maybe that's a project Evangel could get behind and just make a meaningful impact here, a, a meaningful difference here. Um, we did a small thing today. We, we went and bought some drums and um, these guys just came unglued as we gave them these drums and they started to play them like jeepers. You just <laughs> never heard guys play drums like these guys can play them. So, so it's cool. It's been awesome being out here. We just and I hope you enjoyed that video that my son Tony and his wife Sarah did. 
and it gave you a perspective from, from uh, their point of view. And so I hope that you enjoyed that. And again, I just want to encourage you, um, uh, we do need your support. It now costs about $7,000 a month to provide for the, the needs of our children's home, uh, the Village of Joy. So if you can help us out, and again, we're asked that you uh, subscribe to this channel. That way you get all the updates that we post from time to time. So again, we appreciate your support and most of all, your prayers for this important ministry. So God bless.